Hello everyone, welcome to techtube.com. In this lecture, we will understand equivalence of schedule. Okay, so so far we have categorized the schedule on the basis of their recoverability, right? Where we studied whether the schedule is recoverable, whether the schedule is cascadeless and strict. Okay, so when we talk about two schedules, they can be equivalent to each other sometime. Okay. And one way is that we have exactly identical schedule. Okay, so if it is identical, then of course it is equivalent. Now we have certain categorization that when we call schedule to be equivalent. Okay, so here we have three categorization. The first one is result equivalent. Second one is conflict equivalent and the third one is view equivalent fine so these two these two we will understand in next lectures in this lecture we will understand what is result equivalent okay what are result equivalent schedules and when we call a schedule to be result equivalent schedule so let's have a look so when two schedules s1 and s2 are executed and they both lead to a same database state that is same result we say that these are result equivalent okay what i mean by saying is let's say if there is a variable x okay and schedule s1 is working on variable x and it goes to some database state let's say x1 okay now if another schedule s2 also works on the same variable x and leads to the same database state x1 then we say that these two schedules s1 and s2 are result equivalent because the ultimate result is same okay so let's have an example where we have result equivalency here we have been given two schedules this is schedule 1 which contains of course two transaction t1 and t2 okay and this is schedule s2 okay which also have two transactions and we have schedule this is complete schedule right now if we start with schedule s1 we have transaction t1 with operations this are read x which is reading the variable x then it is incrementing the value of x by 10 and then writing x back okay similarly here also we have some operations now to check whether these two schedules are re result equivalent or not what do we need to do we need to start with a database state okay and we have to execute these schedules and then we have to see whether in both the cases we have got same output or not okay so final database state that is the output should be same so to start with here let's say we take a value of x equal to 100 okay now here it is reading the value of x so it is 100 here it reads 100 okay fine now x equal to x plus 10 so it increases the value of x by 10 so it becomes 110 then it write back so we need to here write it back so it is 110 in x fine now here the transaction t2 again reads the value of x so it will be now 110 okay it decreases the value by 7 so it will be 103 and then it writes back so here it will be written back how much 103 okay so the final value which we are getting is 103 in x now let's execute schedule s2 so when we execute schedule s2 here let's take a variable x okay x having value 100 again because we have to start with same database state that is the value of variable should be same so here we will take 100 again now here it reads the value of 100 so it is 100 now decreases the value so 95 writes back so let's write it back 95 here so it's 95 now it reads the value of x by 
here transaction t2 so it gets 95 now increases the value by 8 so it will become 103 and then writes back so writes back I've already written back okay so this is the final state here so in both the cases this is the final state and here this is the final state and the final state is same okay so it means that these two schedules are giving us the same result okay that is these two schedules are result equivalent okay now let's take another example now let's understand this example here in this example we have schedule s1 and this is schedule s2 right so as there is only one transaction so I'm not showing it separately okay and I have taken this example from the book so here schedule s1 and s2 we have to check whether these two schedules are result equivalent okay so let's start again with the same processor we will start with a variable x having value 100 okay now read x so it will read 100 increase x by 10 so it will be 110 then write x so here it will write 110 okay nice now let's run schedule s2 over the same variable x having value 100 so it reads the value of x which is 100 increases by 10 percent that is it multiplies 1.1 into the value so it will be 110 and then writes back so it will be written back 100 by 110 here right so you can notice that in both the cases starting with the value of 100 we are reaching to to the to the final state of 110 okay so we can say that these two schedules are result equivalent right but this will be too early to say this is wrong okay so the problem here is if you start anything other than 100 okay if you start with anything other than 100 for the value of x it won't give you the consistent database state okay so these these two schedules are result equivalent for 100 okay so that is not the definition right schedule should be giving the correct output or the same database state for any value of variable okay so these two schedules are not result equivalent okay not result equivalent fine okay so now in the previous example you can notice that in both the cases in both the schedules what ultimately is happening so here you can see that this transaction t1 increasing the value of x by 10 and this is decreasing by 7 similarly here first it is decreasing by 5 and increasing by 8 but if you notice both the schedules are trying to increase the value of x by 3 okay here also both are trying to increase by 3 okay so both the schedules are trying to increase the value by 3 so in any case whatever be the variable it will increase the value by 3 and we will say that these two schedules are result equivalent okay so I hope you understand it if you have any doubt please go to the doubt section and ask your doubt Thanks for watching.